In this video, we're going to have a uh, look at the student data reporting pages in Dreambox dashboard. Please note that we are using the old user experience. Um, if your, if your uh, account is set to the new user experience, please do change the setting, turn it off. Uh, the reason is there have been some issues with data that not showing up correctly in the new version. Um, so returning to our class view, we are in a sandbox class in the Dreambox dashboard. So this is not actual student data, but it is data Dreambox provides for training purposes. Um, remember that in the class view, we can get an overview of the activity that's been happening in the classroom. And we would have mentioned before that sometimes these attention flags are shown to mark um, students of concern in Dreambox. So Dreambox, when Dreambox notices patterns in the student's achievement or difficulties the student's experiencing, it may put a flag on the class overview page to indicate to you that uh, you need to pay some attention here. In this case, in Robbie's case, it's saying um, he wasn't proficient in three of the last five completed lessons. And it's making a suggestion that you view his activity tab to learn more. So let's have a look at Robbie, um, Robbie's data in the dashboard. Clicking his name um, takes us to Robbie's data page. So now we're only seeing data associated with Robbie's account. And we see the flag at the top. It says he may need assistance. We see an alert on the side, which says the same thing that the pop-up showed on the class overview page. It is important to pay attention to the time frame you're looking at here. So I can look at the last week. I can look at the last month. Changing it to a wider range will show me a little bit more in um, the proficiency and growth view. So this table is a visual that shows the different areas of the curriculum that Dreambox is working on. Um, the color of the bars represents um, either where Robbie was placed. So if it's a light green, he was placed at the beginning of his time on Dreambox this year at the point where the green bar ends. Um, dark green shows areas of proficiency and dark green with an arrow means that there's been growth. So what we're seeing here in the last month is Robbie has been demonstrating growth. If there are no colors, it just means Dreambox hasn't yet started to address that area of the curriculum. I am going to switch back to the last week because we're more interested right now in seeing uh, where Robbie might be having problems in his recent Dreambox activity. Scrolling down, we get a brief overview of what Robbie is currently working on. So in his most recent Dreambox um, activities, he has um, he's in progress in, in terms of working on hundreds charts to 1,000 and addition compensation strategies. We can also see how much time he spent, 12 minutes on the first activity and 25 minutes on the second cluster of activity, and the number of lessons he's worked on. He's had one lesson and two lessons. These icons sometimes will change. So if Robbie had demonstrated proficiency with one of these tasks, it would have had a green check mark. Um, if there was a significant problem with one of the tasks, it would have got the orange um, warning sign. Uh, you can have a quick look at what the lesson's all about by clicking the demo button and, and a new window will pop up and it will allow you to play through the task without affecting Robbie's um, data. This is useful uh, in terms of working with the student. If uh, it was a task that they were experiencing trouble with, you might call them back to you. If you're in in-person learning, you might call them back to you and play through the task together so that they have a good understanding of what's being asked of them. You could use it as a teaching opportunity. If you're in a distance learning environment, uh, you could share your screen as you play through the demo lesson with the student and talk about what's being asked and how you know the mathematical representation in the game works. And sometimes that's um, all that's needed to help the students understand uh, what's being asked of them. And it is also an assessment opportunity for you in terms of learning more about what the challenge actually is for the student. Maybe they just don't understand the game in Dreambox, or maybe there's a, a foundational problem in their understanding of the mathematics that you might be able to address in Dreambox or might require learning outside of Dreambox. You'll also sometimes see an icon the PD icon, which is an opportunity for you to learn more about the mathematics Dreambox is presenting. When I look at this shorter activity view, I don't see the problem that Dreambox is flagging. So we're going to go back up to the top of Robbie's data page, and we're going to move over to the activity page. 
So as you can see, this is showing the past month's worth of activity in the last 30 days, what has Robbie been working on? It is organized by date with most recent first. So we can see today, um, he uh, worked on um, place numbers on a hundreds chart to 1000, multiples of 10 was the name of the lesson. If I wanted to learn more, I could play the lesson game. Uh, but what I do see is in the second attempt, he demonstrated understanding of the concept embedded in this. So that, so he's had some success today. Scrolling down, uh, I can see that there are three lessons in a row that are related. So on Monday this week, he did not demonstrate understanding of a compensation activity that used manipulatives with counters. And then I see the day before that, he did not demonstrate understanding of completing addition equations using a compensation strategy. And then the first time he encountered it that day, he did not demonstrate understanding. There's a few hints here. Um, Dreambox has moved um, yesterday to a more concrete example of the concept from something that was more abstract. So Dreambox noticed a problem and Dreambox has tried to address it by adjusting the complexity of the lesson presented. So it's moving through its cluster trying to remediate, but it's uh, not working. So the flag comes up in Dreambox is, is, uh, as a warning to us that we should probably pay some attention here and learn a little bit more about what might be going um, wrong in you know, Bobby's engagement with this activity. Again, you can play the lesson with Robbie or without, if you want to learn more about what's being asked. And it can be sometimes that they just don't understand the task. But uh, working with the child and talking to the child about what's being asked of them is a good way for you to find out more about where mathematically they might be having trouble with the concept. So we know um, already that there's an area, this idea of compensation strategies in addition, that Robbie's going to need some attention from us in order to support his learning. Uh, but we can continue down just to learn a little bit more about what's happening with um, Robbie and his learning. And again, we see that same lesson. Um, he completed the lesson. That's what the check mark means. He spent 12 minutes on it, but he didn't demonstrate understanding through that time. Green checks indicate that there was demonstrated understanding. And, and, and again, the green text will tell you that. So we see some areas of success. When you see the pause sign, it's an indicator that the student backed out of the activity. They didn't actually complete it. He spent 12 minutes in this adding time with hours and minutes and then backed out before the lesson was finished. If that's a pattern, um, you see the pause sign many, many times, you will need to intervene and have a conversation with the child because um, they're not gonna be developing their understanding of mathematical ideas if they you know, walk in and out of lessons um, regularly. Um, I do see uh, lots of areas of success for Robbie and uh, even an area where a whole lesson group was completed successfully. So when you see a green filled in check mark, it means that a cluster of lessons were successfully completed and, he did, and the child demonstrated understanding of that cluster. In this case, it was ad addition with doubling. So uh, it's good to, for all students to do a quick look over their recent activity just to look for patterns and trends, make sure that there is some success happening, that not too much pausing is going on, and to identify areas where they may need uh, individualized support from you in terms of learning. Um, one more area we'll just look at today is the idea of usage. Um, I know we've talked about this before, but this is usage for Robbie individually. So clicking on that tab, and I'm actually going to change it to more than a week just because uh, the data will be a little bit more full. Um, we can get a picture of the trends in terms of over the past month, um, what's Robbie's usage been like? And it looks like it's all uh, outside of school use. So uh, Robbie is doing these, these, this learning on his own time. Um, if it was school use, there would be a darker color bar with, with um, the lighter color bar here. So again, a good way for you to see when and where is the child uh, accessing Dreambox. <clears throat> and further down, you can see how many lessons they're completing as they're logged in. That's a quick overview of the individual student view. Thanks for joining us.